something quick. What shall I do? Try some of that ice. Mm. All right, Spanky. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to fix it so he can't throw any more pests. One touchdown and we win! again. And how? By the way, Buckwheat, how old are you? Four. How old are you, Porky? Huh? I said, how old are you? Three. Three or so. Well, three and four add up to seven, so I guess you kids are still young enough to need our protection. All right. What's in order? So two boys took your marbles away and hit you with tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How big was they? It don't make any difference how big they were. We promised to protect the weak. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, bigger they are, harder we fall. Harder we fall. The sky is number one. You can show us where they are and we'll fix them. You darn tootin'. We'll give them just what they gave you. Right, let's get going. Lead the way and we'll follow. We always get a man like the Northwest Mounted Unit. There you are. That's them. Wait here. I'm going to take care of this. I hope so. Say, did you two fellas take up a mater and smear it in two little boys' face and tuck the marbles away from them? Yeah. Come to think of it, we did. Didn't we? Yeah. But what are you gonna do about it? Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. I just want to find out. Well, you found out, so be on your way. Thank you. Goodbye. So you're just gonna take care of it, huh? Shh. Say, those fellas sure are tough. Do you still want your marbles back? Yes. What are we going to do? We'll do it my way this time. Here, come on. Hey, you mugs. Oh, so you want to play, huh? Come on, William. I guess we started something. You guess. Yeah. 
get out of here this very minute. Do you realize I'm having a dance recital? Now scat. Here, here, you little ones don't belong in here. This is no place for you. Now you stay out. Okay. Nobody down here except us dummies. Oh, wise guys, huh? Sounded like it came from the laundry basket. Come on. There. Don't forget what I told you, and remember your parents will be out front watching you. Then get along there. Start with your right foot first, and keep in time to the music. Go along, go along, go along. Places, girls, places. Now don't forget to come in on the second chorus. Very nice, children, very nice. Oh dear, this is more than one person can handle. Ready? you done? And you, come here. Come here. Just like I told you, 
bigger they come, the harder we fall. Everything's coming up alfalfa. He was born to have his name up in lights, but he feared working alone, so he got a partner. A frog down in his shirt? I know you've all enjoyed this very much. So I have a big surprise for you. Spanky is going on the stage. No. Yes. Where? I've arranged for him to appear at the Ritz Theatre. I'm sure he'll win first prize. But of course. What next? Daughter would never have an actor in the family yet. Why pick on him? Well, what has Clark Gable or Barrymore got that Spanky hasn't? A mustache. Well, if Mrs. Gable, the mother and sole owner of Clark, pushed him on the stage like this, at least he didn't have to perform in front of the rascals. <laughs> Introducing Spanky Jr., the, the noblest Roman of them all. Hey, wait a minute. Let him get started first. Okay. So we connect. Yes. <laughs> Friends, Romans, and... Friends, Romans, and countrymen.
Take him off. Nothing. He's the hit of the show. Well, if you won't take him off, I will. Wait a minute. You can't break up that act. Oh, no. Thank <laughs> you. 